What's up? What's going on? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Let's get down to the situation, but please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, y'all. So let's get into this whole situation when it comes down to the trial of the century between Megan Thee Stallion and also Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez is on trial for his life and his career, and it seems like he brought out the big guns, his father and also his son. Megan and Tory, they both came to court looking drop dead good okay they came looking like money they came looking very confident they came looking very secure and what is about to happen and what's going to go down when we know that you know too much is on the line right now but in any event let's get down to megan's testimony on tuesday december 13 2022 Let's get down to this whole situation. Let's talk about Megan the Stallion. Megan takes the stand and is very emotional, but also she also tells the public about what's been going on between her and Tori. And she finally admits that they had an intimate relationship. And she is basically saying that the reason why she lied about having an intimate relationship with Tori is because she felt like having a intimate relationship with him was going to be used against her and also Tori's defense is her best friend shot her because Megan has backdoored her and slept with plenty of her boyfriends behind her back and Tori is included to one of the boyfriends that Megan slept with behind Kelsey's back because Kelsey allegedly had a relationship with Tori so Tori was doing both of the friends and the person that didn't know what was going on was Kelsey and so therefore he's using Kelsey as you know reasonable doubt she pulled the trigger and she had a reason to pull the trigger because she's been betrayed and then on top of that all three of them were intoxicated drunk and passed out when it comes to Kelsey she was passed out drunk Tori was drunk Megan was drunk they was all intoxicated bad bad but in any event let's get on to the situation where Megan takes the stand and she delivers a emotional testimony as far as once Megan hit the stand to talk to the jurors her voice crackled with emotion Megan the stallion looked straight ahead and held her composure Tuesday as she told jurors that Tory Lane shouted dance bitch before shooting her and both foot or feet doing a roadside assault in July of 2020. Also, while Megan takes the stand around 11:15 a.m. on Tuesday, December 13, 2022, she immediately identified Lanes in the Los Angeles courtroom. And also, Megan was asked, "Are you nervous?" Nervous by the Los Angeles Deputy District Attorney Kathy. And Megan responds, I just don't feel good. I can't believe I have to come up here and do this. Megan replied, continuing on, over more than three hours of harrowing testimony, Megan described her terrifying reaction to the shooting and the pre-dawn hours of July 12, 2020, and the fear and confusion that follows. She admitted she lied to investigators and media outlets when she previously denied having been intimate with Tory. She explained to the jurors that the non-exclusive relationship left her feeling embarrassed and ultimately she considered it irrelevant to the actual shooting that landed her in the hospital. Megan continues, this whole story was about who I am having sex with and I don't understand why that matters. She basically saying that loud and shuddering it down the defense suggesting that it was her former best friend Kelsey Harris who shot her in a jealous rage Megan was adamant Tory Lanez was the trigger man so in any event most of the time sometimes the defense will use your sexual history to shame you and I think Megan wanted to get I've had of that and she didn't want to admit to the public that she was sleeping with Tori and then on top of that her best friend found out in a way that was crazy so therefore they haven't talked since the shooting so there's a whole lot going on let's continue on with Megan testimony she continues Tori came out and told so many different lies about me not being shot about him not being the shooter and making this all about a sex scandal she testified 
Then Megan said the ordeal led to a lot of threats and harassments online. She also states, she said, and left her feeling like a sick bird that other members of her industry should avoid at all costs. Continuing on, Megan says, because I was shot, I have been turned into some kind of villain and he's the victim. Continuing on, this has messed up my whole life, she said, adding that she often gets depressed about the way she's being shamed online. Also, Megan continues, at her lowest, she thought, I wish he would have just shot and killed me rather than have to go through this torture, Megan told the jurors. Megan continues in her sworn account of the hours leading up to the shooting, Megan claims Tori, who real name is Dave Star Peterson, met her at a pool party at Kylie Jenner's house and at first refused to join her when she was announcing she was ready to go home, she said, when he finally agreed to leave so she and Harris could hitch a ride with his driver, he had an attitude she says she continues we finally got finally all got in the car and left she said naming lane's driver jaquan smith and harris as the passengers in the cadillac escalator she continues he had an attitude because he wasn't ready to leave the party she testified saying she was in the front seat while harris and tory sat in the back Almost immediately, Lanes tried to controverse between the two women, she said. She continues, Tori said, you need to stop lying to your friend. He had an attitude and for whatever reason, he said, you need to stop lying to your friend, Megan. Recalling, Megan continues, she says, Tori was referring to their sexual history together, which Harris did not know about at the time, which is Kelsey. Megan continues, because I knew Kelsey had a crush on Tori, I did not want to hurt her feelings, and I did not want her to know that I had dealt with him in any kind of way. So he knew I did not want her to know that. I did not want anybody to know, she testified. Now Kelsey got an attitude because he was implying we were hiding something from her. Megan continues saying Tori started calling both women bitches and hoes. So she asked to be let out of the car on Sunset Boulevard. Megan continues. I realized, oh my God, I am literally at the peak of being so famous right now. And I am in a thong bikini and I look crazy. And if anybody sees me walking down the street like this, it's going to be bad for me she testified megan continues megan says she got back in the vehicle where tori and harris were screaming at each other at the top of their lungs also megan added after jaquan turned down a side street and they approached megan's house she asked to get out of the car again continuing on megan states she says Tori had disparaging things to say about her career. So she started to say disparaging things about his career in return. And she states it caused him to become even angrier. Megan continues, Tori was basically telling me I was not shit. And I said, actually, you ain't shit. This is where you at in your career. This is where you at in your music. And I feel like that really rubbed him the wrong way megan continues he kept yelling and cussing she said megan states i started walking away from the car and i can hear tori say dance bitch i don't have to turn all the way around i did not have to use my feet to turn around she testified to explain for the juries how she turned her head without turning her entire body i literally turned like this and i could see him with the gun she continues, and that's when Tory Lane's lawyers objected to what she was saying at that point, but the judge let the answer remain on the record. Megan, 
main injury was near the back of her left foot leading the defense to claim she was facing away from the shooter when the gunfire erupted and did not have a good advantage point to identify who was holding the semi-automatic 9mm handgun. Megan also repeated that she saw Tori with the gun and then froze. Continuing on, Megan says, I am in shock. I am screaming. I hear a gun go off. I could not believe he was shooting at me, she testified. And he was holding the gun, pointing it at me. Megan says she dropped to the ground and crawled to a nearby driveway. I looked down at my feet and I see all the blood, she said. Now everybody's screaming. He looks shocked. Kelsey looks shocked. Megan said everything started to get blurry after that. But she recalls Tori apologizing in the car when they heard the police sirens. So Megan got back in the car after being shot. And continuing on, Megan says... He's saying, please don't say anything. I will give you a million dollars. I cannot go to jail. I already got caught with a gun before. That's what Megan testified. And continuing on, soon after that, Megan said she lied to to the police and told them that she stepped on glass. Asked why she did not tell the truth. Megan said her reasons were twofold. And she states, this was the height of police brutality and George Floyd. And if I say this man just shot me, I did not know if they might shoot first and ask questions later. She testified beyond that and the black community and my community, it's not acceptable to work with the police. Continuing on, she also says, as a woman in the music industry, people have a hard time believing you anyway. She states, boom, and Tori was listening to Megan's testimony and he was taking so many notes, so many notes. Guilty to three felony charges in the high profile case, assault with a firearm causing great bodily injury concealing a loaded unregistered firearm in a vehicle and the recent added count of discharging a firearm with gross negligence. If Tory Lane is convicted, he faced the possibility of 22 years and eight months in prison and subsequently can be deported since he is not a U.S. citizen.